Good day guys, back with Nick and Helmy. So today we are in Sydney city, opposite to Wall Square. There's this very famous Irish bar called Scruffy Murphy. On top of the bar, there's actually Thai restaurant. It's actually all you can eat, $35 per person. This is the twist. It's actually hot pot and also barbecue. So you can choose either the Thai hot pot or the barbecue. This is something interesting because we never tried and we actually got invited but we will give you honest opinion even though we are invited and I tell you something we're gonna eat something interesting you know what squid ovary let's go yes if you're Sydney cider you know Scrappy Murphy is very very famous on a Friday night not sure if it's still famous right now but on top of that is where Air ABB is. Across from Scruffy Murphy's is World Square. There's actually another Air ABB restaurant there, which is another brunch. But they do more of your traditional kind of Thai cuisine, like you know, pot siu, pot thai, and all that stuff. So if you want more of the traditional one, you go over there. But if you want something unique like the Thai hot pot or the barbecue grill, check out this place. This is where we're going. So we're gonna be eating the, I guess, a hot pot, Thai hot pot style. They've got four different kind of soup base here, so we're just gonna try a few of them and see which one we like for our main, I guess. Like this one is more like Japanese influence, so it's this, this got the shoyu. And this one is a chicken one, right? Yeah, the chicken style, yeah. like the Korea soup, so yeah, it is. Be careful, it's a hot. <laughs> all very herbally medicinal really really nice this one is the malatang style like the chinese one with <laughs> you can see a lot of chili it's so red look at that chili oh wow <laughs> it's very spicy <laughs> <laughs> is it i don't think you can drink this nick <laughs> oh, 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 very peppery. Yeah, wow. very peppery, very Sichuan taste, uh, very spicy. If you like, you know, spicy broth for hot pot, this is the one. Yeah. And I think we're gonna go with the chicken Clear stock. Clear soup. Yeah, with some goji berry. And then this yeah. one, which is the... Uh, In Thai, we call that jiao horn. Jiao horn. Jiao horn soup. Jiao horn soup. That's kind of unique word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's kind of contained with the herb as you see the, the lemon glass, the oh, lemon grass, yeah. the yeah. cup of lime. And yeah. get some ginger as well. So. Yeah, the ginger is in it. And um, the Thai basil. So behind the kitchen here, we have the biggest pot here that I have ever seen. And that apparently is the chicken stock for everything. All the, it's like the, you call it the, the mother, mother, mother what? Mother pot. <laughs> mother pot. <laughs> I just found something that I really like, which is Chicken skin, look at this. This is like the bowl of happiness with lots of chicken skin marinated. And just imagine it's like deep fried, very crispy. Oh my God, my cholesterol go high, <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> and this section here, we've got all the meats here that we can choose as well. So we got some crab stick, Pork belly, beef tripe, beef chunk, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Is that seaweed? Seaweed with pork mince. With pork mince? Yeah, so wow. we, this is marinated pork mince. This is like actually very traditional Thai Chinese style. Okay, Thai Chinese style. Yeah, it? like um, mm. you know Fujian. Fujian? Yeah, Fujian people. Then in Thai, this is really popular. Right. <laughs> but then, really hard to find in, in other country now. Oh, okay. Yeah, like really traditional in a hot pot and so all the Thai hot pot we have this one. All right, look at how much food we've got here. It's insane. With the all you can eat, you can choose two types of menu apparently. So one is the hot pot style, and then the grill one. So we're gonna start off with this one, and then we'll go on that one, and then we'll tell you how good it is. Uh, I'm ready to get on that one. That's that's really gonna be heavy and punchy in flavor. You know, all that meat that wagyu it's just insane. But here we've got uh, some fish here. And then we've got ox tongue. Then this is the spinach noodle there. Oh, beef tripe. 
And then we got some snacks to accompany me <laughs> and help me, of course. So the heavy prawn, the squid there, that, that's the chicken skin that help me ooh, is ooh. dying to try. Ooh, ooh. That's right. And then the karage. And this one is the fish meatball, uh, which they call fish bump because apparently when you drop it in to the fryer, it drops like a bump. And there's four types of drinks that you can choose from. Uh, this one is the chrysanthemum tea. This one is the pandan. Have you ever heard of pandan drinks? I've never tried it. I know pandan. Really? Yeah, usually pandan I've only tried like as a part of like a dish or a meal or a dessert, you know, but never really as a drink. So very keen to try that. Then you've got this uh, red syrup. They call it cowboy here. Cowboy. Very fancy name. And then lastly here, the black Thai tea, uh, which they said if you put milk, then it becomes a Thai milk tea. Many is insane. There's just so many selection. That's the pork belly there. Uh, some of the fish bowls, and then some prawn as well. The other thing about this place apparently is that they get their ingredient freshly delivered every single day. So it's really, really fresh, and they cut the wagyu and everything like that uh, when people are ordering it. So it's really, really fresh. There's no wastage here as well. Oh, I'm very bad at this. This one right here is the pork paste here. There we go. So making it into like a bit of a meatball there. So the owner was also telling me that they cut everything really thinly sliced so that you can really feel the flavor and the tenderness of it. Man, I can smell the aroma already. We're gonna let it cook for a little bit and we're gonna try this snack right here. Very, very peppery, wow. Crispy, peppery, and very chewy, wow. It was full of flavor. Batter though, here is very thin. It's so chewy though, but the outer layer, that batter is so crispy, and then they've got some pepper as well, because I can immediately feel that kind of spicy punch, which is beautiful, love it. Okay, so this one is cooked, so we're gonna go back to this one, get some of that spinach noodle. I'm gonna start off with the miso here. Something that I love, this sort of sweetness. Let's try this. Oh yeah, that sweetness, creaminess as well. The fish is actually really, really soft. So I've got another fish here. I'm gonna dip it in the Thai tamarind chili sauce here. Oh, wow, that is spicy. So it's like Tom Yum. Yep. It's like Tom Yum spicy, love that. It's got that kind of nice sourness. It's not too tangy actually, it's, it's kind of sweet. And then the, the chili is a bit more peppery, so it's you can tolerate this, seriously. It's not that bad. Like I'm not a fan of dipping noodles with uh, sesame seed sauce, but let's just give this a go. Oh, not bad. The noodles are actually very, very soft. I think it's been cooked there for quite too long. The combination with that sesame seed is Kind of weird. Okay, so I think the noodle don't mix it with anything. It's really good by itself, that spinach noodle. But for that fish here, mix it with the miso sauce there. It goes really well with the miso sauce there. And also with the tamarind as well. Gives that a kind of nice, uh, spicy, hit flavor. Love it. First thing first, of course, for me is the drinks. Look at this. It's already melting. And Nick hasn't tried, so I'm gonna try it. Which one is this? Because that's, these two are very similar. I think that's the pandan one, the clear one, the pandan, pandan one. Okay. Love pandan. Oh my god, this is very good. It's so refreshing. So, I mean, Nick was mentioning about never heard of pandan. I always drink pandan ice cream. So it's very similar. You and eat it's pandan actually ice quite cream. Huh? You don't drink pandan ice cream. Oh yeah, either. well, I eat pandan ice cream. So, this is very <laughs> similar, it's very refreshing. Next is the chrysanthemum tea. Well, I already know this one is good because we actually have it at home. You know, the packet one, and then you just pour hot water. Mm. But this one, they make fresh. As you can see in the pot there, so yeah. This one is also good. Now, 
This is the black tea, right? Thai black tea. Oh, yes. Strong Thai black tea. And then if you put milk, that's correct. Become Thai milk tea. But among all four, I think pandan is the best. Yep. I tried the pandan behind yeah. the scene and it is actually refreshing. The pandan is the best. I think if you are here, then get the pandan. It's very, 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 very nice. This is what I've been eyeing for, which is the chicken skin. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. I don't care about my cholesterol, but that chicken skin is damn good. It's really good. Okay, so if you know expectation versus reality, alright, so this is the expectation pork ball, right? And this is what Nick made. Pork ball, oh my god. Do you see the difference? Expectation and reality. Sometimes reality hurts. <laughs> Just a little bit. Mmm. Ah. Ooh. It's spicy, it's sour. Actually complement well with the meat. So this is really good. It's very uh, traditional Thai flavor. But actually their signature is this one, which is the miso with some secret ingredient. We know what's the secret. Okay, I'm gonna try the pork ball. The real pork ball, not the next pork ball. It's good, eh? The miso is good. Mm. Ooh. Oh my god. Can I drink this soup? <laughs> You know the difference between female and male cooking, okay? So male cooking like they go straight for the meat, no feiji whatsoever. But female, we will put some feiji on it, you know? That's, Trying to be healthy. That's how we roll, help me. That's how you roll, yeah. We actually really love this soup base, which is the jehon, because it has this lemongrass, minty, gingery kind of taste and also it's like clear soup with the chicken broth it's very very good just imagine it's like winter you will definitely drink this soup it's really good it's time for barbecue and we got the pork fat here not to eat it but to glaze this baby do you hear the sizzle? I wish this camera had smell of vision because it smells incredibly sweet there. It's a little bit of that miso now. Mm. It pairs really well but it makes it really creamy. It feels like that got that potato creaminess as well. Really, really nice. And then because they thinly slice the wagyu as well, you can feel just how soft and tender that beef is and then you got like that like a little bit of portion of that fatness around this side which is absolutely beautiful really just full of marble so this is something interesting i think they were saying this is not out yet so it will be out maybe in the future uh i think this is like squid's egg or ovaries let's just grill it man let's just grill it and see what it tastes like Wow, you see that? It immediately just expand like a balloon. So we have to put a little bit of the miso apparently. That's uh... okay. And then we put it upside down. Wow. So this is the ovaries. This is the squid ovaries. Yeah. <laughs> this is the seafood sauce here. Tastes like a normal squid. Yeah, you haven't get the thing. Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, that, that, that's the part. Okay, that part here. Yeah. The the one that expanded like a balloon. Yeah. Oh, that's like a that's like a bitterness, yeah. jelly-like substance. Yeah. 
tongue. Yeah, yeah, you place a little bit on your tongue in the back here, yeah. and then uh, yeah. uh, there's a bit of fishiness, then it comes yeah. in, yeah. Wow. Is it yeah. gonna be in the menu? Yes. We'll Eventually, it's gonna be in the menu. Okay, okay. so this is the owner here. My name is Kit. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Pop. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you so much. They, you know, they invited us, and you know, we were really trying it for the very first time, and very, very honest opinion. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. The squid ovaries. Yes. Not sure if it's my favorite. <laughs> very interesting, but it's like a delicacy there. Yeah, like I'm a bit chicken out, so I'm gonna try this part first. Very soft. Yeah, soft, right? It's yeah. like a normal squid. It's like normal squid. It's mm. very soft. It's fine. I mean, yeah, there's a a little bit of bitterness, but it's just like jelly, but a little bit bitter. I don't taste the fishiness. Or am I doing it wrong? Maybe because it's the seafood sauce that make it less fishy. Is that right? Maybe. <laughs> Let me try it by itself. Mm, it's good. You okay with it? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm totally fine with it. So this is one of the a la carte menu and it's a Thai spicy fermented fish salad. So as you can see, there's red onion, cherry tomatoes, uh, Vietnamese cilantro, garlic, lime, chili, and this one right here is the pork roll, the raw prawn, and the salmon. I don't think I've tried raw prawn before, have I? <laughs> Not sure. Not sure, right? So let me try this one. Well, first. Japanese, you do. Did I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe, yeah. Very refreshing. As soon as you bite it, you can taste that lime, the chili and also a bit of some cilantro as well so it's very very good very refreshing so this is actually salad but instead of like veggie salad it's seafood salad it's really good so we are extremely full but i think they know i love dessert because they give us ice cream so this is the coconut ice cream matcha and also black sesame they got so much different options here to choose from on the all you can eat menu yeah uh, but they also have some a la carte menu so if you want to go like sideways a little bit yeah it's gonna cost you a little extra but i think between the two options the grill and then the shabu shabu style hot pot there i personally would go for more of the hot pot style yeah yeah me too because it's very different normally mm -hmm. you only have like the chinese hot pot where it's like very spicy very mala numbing yeah. kind of taste yeah. but this one is completely different it's like so subtle so definitely have our tick of approval here and go order the Joe Hon. it's apparently really really good i like that it has that ginger yeah. kind of lemongrass kind of taste really really nice so that wraps it up um, i hope you guys enjoy it uh, do give it a try let us know what you think of the place and uh, hopefully you guys like it too yes and if you are brand new don't forget to subscribe ring the bell notification because it will help us a lot mm -hmm. and i'll see you next week for another food adventure see Peace. ya